welcome to my channel guys welcome to today's video i'm yours mary the share lady and uh, today i just want to share with you this amazing recipe honey oatmeal banana bread yeah for the items that i'm using i'll start with the dry ingredients so here i have pembe atamak flour this is what i'm using atamak pembe brand and then old papa's flour unga wangano oats we definitely need oats i have salt baking soda and baking powder yeah those are the dry ingredients for the wet ingredients i have fermented milk cooking oil honey and for flavor I'll be, I'll be using vanilla essence two eggs and three ripe bananas overripe bananas not mushy ones but just overripe bananas and here i have my baking tray and also my measuring cups they really really come in handy so if you don't have this set please consider getting yourself one they really make the work easier and then at some point i'll be using aluminium foil yeah so the first thing i like to do is to prepare the baking tray so i'm using prestige margarine and uh, all purpose flour to dust the baking tray And uh, for the baking tray to hold even better, I like to place it in the freezer for a few minutes. I'll start by mixing the dry ingredients. One cup of flour, half a cup all-purpose flour, one cup oats, one teaspoon baking soda, quarter teaspoon baking powder, and quarter teaspoon of salt and mix mix all the dry ingredients together once mixed set aside the dry ingredients and we'll start preparing the wet ingredients so here i have three ripe bananas overripe bananas and i'm using a fork to mash them In the bananas i'm adding a quarter cup of vegetable oil a third cup of honey two eggs and i'll mix three tablespoons fermented milk and guys don't forget to add one teaspoon of vanilla essence before i mix the wet and dry ingredients i'm turning on the oven to preheat for 10 minutes as the oven preheats let's mix our wet and dry ingredients And to mix i'm using the folding method all done so let's load into the baking tray and yeah, just make sure that nothing is left in the bowl i'll use the same spatula to flatten the mix i'm also throwing in a teaspoon of oats a teaspoon of roasted pumpkin seeds just a few and lastly half a teaspoon of sesame seeds 
So guys, as you try out this recipe, uh, please note that uh, each oven is different, so the settings might vary. After loading the mix, I'm adjusting the heating element uh, for my oven. I'm adjusting to the bottom one, and also I'm adjusting to 160 degrees. On the timer, I've selected 60 minutes. At the halfway mark, I'm covering the cake uh, with an aluminium foil. Guys, I already know that I need oven gloves. Yeah, so here's the aluminium foil. I've just cut a small sheet. Cover the cake like this and continue to bake uh, for 30 minutes. And the timer is up i'll use a fork to check if the cake is fully baked yeah you can see the fork is clear so our cake is done and i'll set it on the rack here leave it for a few minutes just for it to cool down yeah this is the physical outcome of our banana bread looking great looking all yummy all the healthy ingredients in there yeah it's all done well mm -hmm. you can see how the oatmeal flakes are just falling yeah this is great yeah be sure to try out this recipe also and leave me feedback also leave me a comment down there guys tell me what you think about this one Thank you so much and I'll be seeing you on the next video.